Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh, cool. We're here in Landlock, Colorado. Teaching kids to scuba dive and the importance of marine science and ocean conservation. Through a scholarship of a lifetime. day in the Florida Keys and we are loading up the boat right now for another day of diving and if everything goes well the kids will finish their certification today. Let's go hit the water. Alright we are going to really quick do some dry runs on your compass skill. So the person with the compass is going to line up wherever you're going to go Set your bezel so your north and south stay the same. Your buddy is going to hang on to you, either your arm or your BC. All right, so one of you has the compass, one of you is counting fin kicks and making sure your depth is remaining the same. Got it? All right, buddy up. So you remember how to do this? Nope. How about you guys line up real quick that along that real. rail? <laughs> All eight of you with the Mare's uh, wetsuit. <laughs> sea legs, guys. Squat. Say, almost certified! Almost, almost certified! certified. <laughs> Alright, your instructor's got something to Oops, say. Alright, you guys. Yeah, you guys can sit and relax. Dan, the Divers Alert Network, has identified seven errors that divers, not just new divers, but like people like Graham who've been over on a thousand dives have done. One of them is when you guys jump off the back of the boat, the boat crew needs to know that you are okay. You need to give a big okay when you jump off that boat. Second, when you guys are diving, it's important that you dive with a buddy. Any number of things can go wrong while diving. You need to know that your buddy is there. Third thing, you guys have probably noticed by now that you can't talk underwater. So eye contact is the best form of communication. It is important to communicate with your dive buddy throughout the dive. And this is absolutely not a criticism of you guys. You guys are now getting closer to the end. And these are important things for you guys to remember. Like I said, Dan identified seven. There are seven major things that divers tend to forget. Being a responsible diver and just doing those simple things and checking in with your buddy and being responsible for yourself and your buddy are on that list. Look at how far you guys have come. So this is just adding on to the lessons learned. Speaking of the dive plan, today what we're gonna do, you guys are gonna do reciprocal compass headings. We're gonna do a little swim around. We're gonna look at the wreck. Give yourself some room. Communicate with your buddies. Make sure you're okay. If you see something cool, get your buddy's attention and show them. All right, All right let's, let's get in the go. water. Yep. Yes. 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 Up. Good job, guys. <laughs> Maybe you're ready. This thing's been down here 76 years. It's got a lot of life on it. And some of that life is also fire coral. So I'm going to recommend you go grab onto the wreck and find out what fire coral feels like. But it's a really pretty thing to check out and go have a lot of fun.
down here. Keep in mind you're inside a National Marine Sanctuary. All this is live coral all around you. Be aware of your fin kicks down there. Don't actually kick the coral or do any damages. And other than that, have a whole lot of fun. All right. You guys, this is going to be your final training dive. Woo! You guys are going to be doing the air sharing ascents. We're going to make our way back to the boat. When we get back to the boat, your final skill, surface marker buoy deployment, will be done at the surface. Before you get back on the boat, each of you have to deploy the safety sausage. All right, any questions, comments, or concerns? Certified! You saw a bunch of barracudas too? Oh no, it's gorgeous. And you're certified. Certified! <laughs> Woohoo! That was the best dive yet, honestly. Yeah. 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 And I finally can uh, maintain buoyancy better. I don't have to worry less about that. I can focus more on just looking around. This one was even a little tougher to do that too. It the, was because uh, of the current, mm -hmm. but... That's I think I was just really, really bad at it the first couple of dives, <laughs> so I can notice any difference. Josh? Like certified? Yeah. That's right. How you feel? That's really good. Um, I think that was my favorite dive so far. Yeah. There was a lot to see and it was really clear. And it was really fun. How you feel, Andrew? Amazing. Open water diver! Woo! Ready for lunch, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I'm hungry. Sure. scuba divers yeah because yeah. you should you are yeah. how about some enthusiasm yeah. Yeah. congratulations you guys it's been a long road you guys started in january all wide-eyed and like nervous about jumping in the pool now you guys are doing giant strides off the back of a boat in the middle of the atlantic ocean i mean not the middle <laughs> so i have your license to dive wow. you have to carry this with you anytime you want to go diving you're gonna have to show it to someone Please do not lose this. And it is yours forever, it never expires. Uh, so I'll call you guys up one at a time. Precious. Lindsay. Emily. Congratulations. Thank you. Nika. Josh. Good job, Josh. Fatima. Andrew. And Zoe. So up until right in this moment, you guys have been under my Dan insurance as my students. You guys are no longer my students. You guys are autonomous, working on getting very close to confident divers. And Dan has graciously donated to each of you guys one year of 
Insurance, Dan Divers Alert Network. Very, very important piece of insurance to have. And they've donated that to you guys to encourage you to continue diving and continue exploring. And they have sent you guys a few goodies. They sent some really cool stuff for you guys to have for basically like a graduation present of, you know, culminating your certification. They printed out a certificate for each of you guys. And I'm gonna read it to you. It says, congratulations on becoming a scuba diver. Welcome to the underwater world. In recognition of your commitment to safe diving, Dan is pleased to present you and your family with Dan membership for one year. It is our pleasure to cover you with dive accident insurance for one year. Dive safely and enjoy your time underwater. Woo! All right. Also each, they sent a cool Whoa. dive medical kit for each one of you guys and there's a smart guide with stickers and, and more bag tags. First dive as real certified divers. Yeah. <laughs> you have no instructor telling you what to do. Right. There's an organization in Key Largo, it's called REEF. What they do is they create a lot of information for use by marine scientists. And the way they do it is through a roving diver survey. You guys are roving divers. You're just diving around, looking at what you see and the fish you see. So what you do during the course is you would mark off what you see. Now the uses of this, you say, what is it? There's quite a few. We have Goliath Grouper down here. They closed the fishery in 1999 because they were getting fished out and then they wanted to reopen it. Well, they had the reef database of information from all the roving diver surveys, approximately 60,000 surveys just in the Keys. And they said, no, there's not enough abundance, there's not enough frequency, there's not enough of them. And the Fisheries Council said no. On that note, it's yours. All right, you guys remember from Fish ID class, the different body shapes? That'll help you guys identify the fish. Look for body markings, body patterns to help you identify them. Remember, caudal peduncle, guys. Look at the fish's caudal peduncle and see if there's anything there. Caudal peduncle, you guys you remember? Like I do. <laughs> Obviously, that's and my, a great word. That's my legacy to Ocean First, is caudal peduncle. Thank you. That's awesome. All right, let's go diving. Everyone's feeling really accomplished and ready to relax. It's time for a little celebration. I don't care who's right or wrong. I just try to understand. Let the day Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Normal Fatima. Oh. <laughs> that is normal. No Josh, you better airdrop this. Oh, Everybody turn on your airdrop. Uh, guys, on, what is airdrop? I don't even know what I don't that is. Even, do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh, cool.
congratulations and for many, many years of diving safe. Autonomously, confidently, and safely. And with some serious adventures. officially eight new certified divers in the world. And before we head back to Colorado, next episode, the students get two more dives to venture out and explore on their own.